My name is Anasita Augustinus from On Native Ground, and we're here at the Sundance 2011 Film Festival, and I'm here with... Jonathan Stanton. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan, Anacita. it's so great to see you. Um, you we were just talking about um, your how you got involved with film. Yeah, um, well, I came from a sports background, adventure sports specifically. Um, so as a professional athlete, I was able to run camera and became a cinematographer that through through adventure sports photographing the athletes that I, I used to be with um, so what eventually happened was that I became introduced to the Inuit sports the traditional Inuit sports up in Alaska and through through a mutual friend and it opened up this entire community to me and I was really welcomed and brought in and so it became it became a real passion um, because I could really understand and I really understood the value system that supported the games, these sports. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the indigenous games, is, is this is this is what you were affiliated with? Correct. What, what year was that? Um, well, I became, I, I, when was that? Jeez. Uh, 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I had never seen the Inuit sports before. Mm -hmm. And to me, uh, I, I'm a Canadian and we kind of there's a little bit of there's there's a pride there there's a national pride of, of understanding our indigenous first nations cultures and and yet i had never heard of these games and these sports and the the level of athleticism that is exhibited is is just incredible it's equal to you know any professional sport in the western world and so um, I, I really felt strongly that that they needed and deserved representation in the mainstream media that's wonderful. Uh, besides the, that filming, have you done other projects? Um, yeah, I, I, I've done a lot of like commercials and, and music videos and, and uh, a couple feature films, but um, so they generally Anything, pay the bills. Yes, understand. Yeah, exactly. Any feature films we might be familiar with? No, um, none that I'm proud of, put it that way. <laughs> um, one was a, a 35, film, 35 millimeter feature film, and it was filmed in Alaska. and. It was where I skinned my teeth, essentially, um, and uh, it was about a period piece with animals. And if anyone you know out there, your first film, never let it be with child actors or animals, <laughs> and don't combine the two. Duly it's just noted. recipe for disaster. <laughs> and what's in, what's lined up in your future at this moment? Um, well, I, I came in just today uh, specifically for the transmedia workshop panel. Uh, because that's really where we're at and they say right out of the gun like cinema lost to games mm -hmm. you know and and so we're kind of struggling we're in we're in a world where you know there's a lot of noise out there and so how you get your message through is really the challenge and and so when they say cinema's dead you know we're, we're literally struggling struggling for a minute and a half of someone's uh, attention on the web and someone will sit down for for six to eight hours straight no problem um, to play a video game so and and mobile applications and stuff so it's really about for me it's about finding your story holding on to that really uh, uh, tightly to the kernel of that story and exploring it through multiple portals because um, they're you know this multi-platform world uh, and really it, it needs to cater to the end viewer or end user and so that's the challenge. Well, for anybody in our audience who aren't familiar with the Indigenous Games, the Indigenous Games is a four-year um, cycle of the uh, version of Native American Olympics. And you were there in 2003. I participated in 2007 in Denver. Oh, really? And it was wonderful. I was part of Team California, their, their um, publicity liaison. And you talked about being a uh, professional athlete in the past. True. And do you still, um, are you still doing um, any sports-related uh, um, things? Um, it, it, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, my, my sport, um, I guess, uh, level of conditioning has, has mm -hmm. suffered because uh, work tends to get in the way. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you're, when you're producing, I'm the producer, the director, writer of the, of the film, and so I, I hope it's the last time I have to produce and direct mm -hmm. a show because it, it's just an it's insane amount of work. Um, but um, basically, yeah, I, I'm still into outdoor mm -hmm. sports that get me access to wilderness because mm -hmm. that's essentially my spirituality is is wilderness. Mm -hmm. It's, Can it's you, the um, elements. Thank you. Can you describe um, the traditional sports that that was um, portrayed? That, Absolutely. That so when I um, so the traditional Inuit sports are are developed their their ancestral sports that are the that are basically uh, designed for survival 
in the extreme Arctic. And so what you have is a lot of strength training games, a lot of agility training games, uh, games specific to a, a hunting skill, you know, for, for pulling a seal out of a hole or pulling a whale up on the ice flow. Um, and, and there's a lot of explosive jumping games. Uh, and so there, you, you have athletes that are kicking the height of a, a basketball rim, a small ball this, this size at, this, at the height of a basketball rim. Um, so it's, it's incredible. And then there's uh, the other side, which is about getting through the harsh winter. And you, you know, you're in darkness, liter you know, 24 hour darkness for three months. How do you get through that without electricity and power and you know, all the amenities that we enjoy? And, and so they have a lot of laughing games and f games of fun to, to build people's spirits. And, and so really that's, um, that's the community aspect. It's to build and raise the, the, the strength and, and uh, the community itself, so through the individual. So when you raise up an individual, it's going to filter and build the strength of the community. And so that's where I really uh, am focusing on, is how do these games fit into the culture uh, and the community. That's very interesting. Um, we're here at Sundance Film Festival. Have you um, seen any films that have been really um, um, surprised you? Uh, I, I haven't seen a single film because I've been working every day since I've been here. Um, we, we filmed a short film here uh, over the last two weeks about a, a homeless dog called Stetson. Uh, uh, yeah, this homeless dog that finds a home eventually in, in Park City and stuff. Oh, and so it's kind of funny. Back to animals. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> we're back to the animals. <laughs> well, hope did Stetson actually find a home? He did. He found a home in a ski patroller's mm -hmm. house and has a little cozy spot by the fireplace, so mm -hmm. it's very cozy. It was based on a children's book, a, a local author's children's book. So. Now I understand that you're um, good friends with Jack Kohler, one of our executive producers. Can you tell me about that relationship? Um, well, Jack and I, we met through NAPT. Uh, Native American Public Telecommunications and uh, at, a, at a panel for um, at a workshop for PBS specifically regarding outreach and stuff um, because the real trick is is getting your film out there you know it's, it's one hurdle as a filmmaker we realize very very slowly that the arduous task of making a film is only the beginning and then once you have that film how do you get it seen how do you get an audience and so Jack has been a tremendous pillar in the community of getting films out, you know, and so, you know, we're, we're very proud of his accomplishments. That's and really NAPT is, is a great supporter of that. And for our audience who doesn't know what NAPT means? Native American Public Telecommunications is a, is a, a co-producer, uh, a partner of PBS, and so they're one of our co-partners and, and have supported us over the, the five years of production and editing that, that it has taken to complete our film. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, any um, other comments, John? Um, well, I, I guess I would like to say that, um, uh, yeah, I, I really look forward to, to kind of partnering with the Native American community and as a, as a non-Native person. Um, I have the highest respect for, for just elevating people within that community. And so with Alaska Natives specifically, um, we've worked with the Native, uh, Alaska Native Heritage Center to build a, a media center so that, so that, you know, that essentially people from outside a culture don't have to come in to tell those stories, that those stories can be told from within the culture. And I think that's really exciting to see just even in the past five years, really, a Native stories being told by Native filmmakers. That's and wonderful. You can really feel your heart and sincerity in that. Um, I'd like to say thank you to our audience for welcoming John Stanton to our homes here, and we really, really appreciate the kind of work you do, the kind of vision you have, and you know, we look forward to seeing uh, um, Stetson, possibly. <laughs> yeah, more games of the North, the, More games of the North, and will you be going to another Indigenous game soon? Uh, absolutely, yeah. It's uh, every every year in in Alaska. There's the World Eskimo Indian Olympics are held in Fairbanks, Alaska, and so that's that a real com one. yeah. That's the next mm -hmm. one, and it's really uh, it's it's a crossroads mm -hmm. of people that you don't get to see otherwise because uh, Alaska most native villages like 95% of native villages are off the road system and cost like oh. ridiculous amounts of money to fly into. Mm -hmm. So they only get you know there's basically one chance out of the year. To, to reconnect, oh, and that's, that's, that's one of the main reasons for these games. Mm -hmm.
community building. Community building and, and cross mm -hmm. building of, of different villages and different cultures. Because it's, yeah, it's quite fascinating because um, not, not that long ago, you know, you had, it was very tribal based, it was very mm -hmm. village clan based. And, and so there's a lot of healing that's still happening. Um, because it, 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 life was, was really difficult. That's wonderful. And what was the name of that film that was uh, the PBS film? Yeah, it's Games of the North is both a PBS production, a 26-minute film that will be broadcast in summer 2011, and then it's a feature film as well. Um, and it's a, it's a transmedia project where we have an educational curriculum, we have you know, the web portal, we have short film um, like interstitials that tie in um, to the culture in, in general. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's a multimedia project. So we can look for that, you said, the end of summer 2011? Yeah, we haven't been mm -hmm. given a specific date, so we're, yeah. we're waiting. Like, we'll know in a few weeks, to, but it's summer 2011. Wonderful, that's Games of the North. Um, John and I are here on Native Ground, and um, we would just like to both say uh, thank you to the Ute Nation for allowing us to be on Native Ground. Hi, I'm Jonathan Stanton here at the Sundance Film Festival, and you are on Native Ground.